Welcome to another edition of Rust Rants, where I come on and go off about, well, whatever's honking me off today. So for the first time in two years, I'm actually looking forward to Major League Baseball again. I'm pushing aside all the political garbage that just ruined the game for me, and I'm ready to ruin on my Philadelphia Phillies as they take on the Houston Astros in the World Series. The Phillies, the dark horse in this postseason with one of the most recognizable players in baseball, Bryce Harper going up against the heavily favored Houston Astros and their future Hall of Fame ace, Justin Verlander. Looks like this is going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, finally looking forward to watching baseball. Unfortunately, the woke sports media has to pee on everybody's fun. I'll tell you how they're doing it right after this word from our sponsor, H2O Health and Water Solutions. Does your toilet have rings that always need cleaning? Do you have hard water spots on your shower doors, calcium buildup on your faucets? Just imagine what all of that is doing to the inside of your washing machine, dishwasher, refrigerator, your hot water heater. What about the pipes inside of your body? Buy a filter or be a filter. You can have clean, mineral-rich water without the buildup of unwanted toxins in your body and throughout your whole home. Call Vicki Johnston today at H2O Health and Water Solutions at 928-899-7504 or stop in and see her at the Prescott Gateway Mall. All right, so the Associated Press came out with a story lamenting the fact that neither the Phillies nor the Astros have any black players on their teams. Except that's not true because both teams have what some would refer to as Afro-Latino players uh, like those from the Dominican Republic or Cuba. So that would include guys like Houston's Framber Framber Valdez or Philadelphia's Gene Segura. And then there are also plenty of other Latino players on both teams. You got Jose Altuve. You got Jordan Alvarez. You got Sir Anthony Dominguez. One of the coolest names in baseball, I got to say. But apparently that's not good enough for the AP because the article says, quote, Many Afro-Latino players embrace black identity, yet perhaps not for the same reasons that black U.S. players do. Race and skin color hold a different currency in places like the Dominican Republic, Panama, Cuba, and Belize, end quote. Now, these are the same woke weirdos who keep screaming about how we need more diversity. And even when we have more diversity, it's still not good enough for them because the black players aren't from the United States. And apparently that's a problem. Well, at least it's a problem for those, those loons over at the AP. Uh, the reality of the situation is the Phillies and Astros took the 25 guys they thought would give them the best chance to win the World Series and put them on the roster. But of course, to the woke weirdos out there, well, meritocracy, that's just code for white supremacy. Yeah, right. Uh, Now, it is true that participation of U.S.-born black athletes in Major League Baseball has gone down dramatically since the since around the early 1990s and a lot of that a lot of people say a lot of that might have to do with the fact that the NBA has just exploded with its popularity uh, through the 1990s well into the 2000s um, you know that sport is maybe picking off uh, black athletes who would probably maybe go into major league baseball I think at least that's the prevailing theory but in spite of that, look at how many Latino players and Asian players are now in Major League Baseball. So you can't say that MLB is not diverse because it is. Now, in the article uh, from AP, Bob Kendrick, who runs the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum in Kansas City, which from what I've heard is a really, really awesome museum, uh, he says, quote, 
That is eye-opening. It is somewhat startling that two cities that have high African-American populations, there's not a single black player. It lets us know there's obviously a lot of work to be done to create opportunities for black kids to pursue their dream at the highest level, end quote. And I have no problem with that. I have no problem finding a way to encourage more black kids to play baseball. But the key word there is encourage. You can't force black kids to play baseball and you can't stick players on a roster just because of the color of their skin because if they can't cut it at whatever level they're at that's not just doing the team a disservice it's also doing that player a disservice you know the the ap all they're trying to do they're just trying to create controversy they're trying to create more victim mentality and racial division in this country so My word for AP is just shut up, you woke idiots, and for once, just let us enjoy sports and let us just enjoy this World Series with my Philadelphia Phillies. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of Rust Rants. Be sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe across all of KYCA's social media. That's YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, Instagram. Check us out at KYCA.info for all the latest sports and news from around the Prescott area. And be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you have to say about this video. Till next time, I'm John Rust. Go Phillies. I'll see you soon.